The members of the National Resistance Movement Parliamentary Caucus made their way to the president's office straight next door to Parliament. It is the first caucus meeting the party has held in nearly a year, this time to provide an assessment of the government's performance and to deliberate on strategies for effective service delivery. I think our priorities as a party are misplaced. They are totally misplaced. We are always having launches. You launch the PDM, where is it now? You launch the COVID vaccine, where is it now? You launch cattle compensation, where is it now? They were informed of a plan by the NRM Secretariat to embark on a countrywide mobilization campaign to strengthen the party's structures just as the chairman, President Yori Museveni, is holding regional sensitization meetings on the parish development model. As much as we are looking particularly at Uganda, Busoga and Kampala, you realize that even in the countryside, in other parts of the country, we need to understand and appreciate the issues of concern that affect our party. This appears to have offered fertile ground for some of the members to ask for the position of the party in regard to the political activities of a senior military officer, General Muhozi Kanerugaba. Muhozi, the son of President Museveni, has signaled interest in the country's top job. The question of pretense will kill NRM. And the pretense means that people look at the issues of national debate and they don't turn them into issues of national debate, they pretend. People are biting each other. You for standby generator, the other side is seeing you as a wrong person. You're on this other side, but the party leadership were not coming out to direct us on where to go or to support both. But now we're not given the answers. Of course we want to find out, like any other concerned person. Sometimes when you go to constituencies, people are asking us, is it Museveni or Muhozi? Eh? So the question is disturbing our heads. The spokesperson of the caucus, Brandon Kintu, could not confirm the call for support of party members for the billions of shillings intended to bail out the proprietor of Day Biopharma Limited, Matthias Magola. We promised the NRA members of parliament to caucus on such. It's not only Magola. We also have to gume. Uh, we had a conversation about coffee. So we shall have a bigger caucus where we shall expound on such matters. According to an article sent to NTV's newsroom, the leader of government business in parliament committed to forward the issues that were raised in the meeting to the party chairman. The equitable distribution of resources, colleagues, is a key, and we shall bring it on the table of the president. The tobacco farmers in West Nile, this issue is going to be handled. We shall table a paper in cabinet and then we shall come back on the answer. It is expected that the next meeting of the caucus, which greatly influences the decisions of the House on critical issues in favor of the ruling party by the sheer size of their numbers, will meet within a month's time. Jackson Onyango, NTV.